tutorial is going to show you how to do the increase and decrease of the single crochet. And I just finished a row and I'm going to chain one because it's single crochet. And then to do an increase of the single crochet, all you do is go into the stitch, create your first single crochet in the stitch, and then to do the increase, all you're doing is going right back into the same stitch and doing another single crochet. So now where there was this one stitch, you now have two. You've increased your stitch, your stitches. You can do that for the, the next row. Let's say, let's do a single, normal single crochet in the next two stitches. So we just put one here, one here. And then again, you want to do an increase. You're going to work two single crochets within the same stitch. And that's how you do an increase. Now to do a decrease, it's the opposite pretty much of this. Instead of working two in the same stitch, what you're going to do is you want to use two stitches. This would be the normal one that you would use and if you just used it, you would have one stitch here. But we don't want just one stitch. We want to get rid of a stitch because say you have too many stitches or you want to make your project smaller. So you're going to go into that, pull up a loop, and before you pull through to finish the single crochet, go into the next stitch and do the same thing you did with the other one. Pull up a loop. Now you have three loops on the hook. You will pull through all three loops. And now you can see you have one stitch now out of these two stitches. Because the next row when you start to work your row, you're going to use the stitches as usual. So you're going to have one stitch here, one stitch here, one stitch here, one stitch here, as you can see. But little do you know, well little do you know, but little do you have to think about that these stitches here is an increase because it won't really matter to you next round because you, you just work in the stitches. Is this the same for this? It was last round too, but now it's just one. But for you, you're just probably going to work one in each stitch. So, but it will in the long run affect your work. Every time that you lose a stitch, your project will get smaller here. And when you add stitches here, it will actually make it wider. And you can use increases to actually make ruffles like this, for instance. This is just working two stitches in the same. So it's an increase, increase, increase. You're basically working two stitches where there were one before. So your project will start to ruffle just because it has way more stitches than it did before. So when you pull it straight like this, it'll ruffle. So you can make simple designs just from adding another stitch within. And you'll use this a lot when you create hats and stuff because you'll be needing to do a lot of increases. So it's important to learn. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please stick, stick around for the next tutorial where I'll be teaching you how to do the double crochet increase and decrease.